Village Village, over to the Emirates Academy for Hospitality Management, where I believe we have a very special um, guest who'll be cooking with, um, with the team today. Um, are you reading us, Emirates Academy? We're here. Can you hear us? I can hear you. I can hear you. Hello and welcome. It's the words from 2020. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> now, um, hi. Good to see you again, Helen. I understand you Thank have you. a very, very special um, uh, cohort with you today. So I'd really like to hear okay. about um, the achievements of your 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 not well she's not a student anymore i suppose i think she is and she she's a past and present student i believe absolutely yeah wonderful right well let's um over to you guys let's uh let's learn okay before we start joanne i do need to uh go uh give this for uh gavin we do have the ronnie jackets uh, that we're utilizing here today so we wanted Yay. to be very proud that we are still using these jackets Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm Helen Morris. <laughs> okay, I'm Helen Morris. I'm the Executive Chef Senior Lecturer here at the Emirates Academy. Uh, with me today, we have a very special guest. Uh, it's Shari Anal Mashring. Well, sorry, I'm introducing her. She's going to introduce herself. Uh, but she is doing the demonstration today, and I am her commie. But I'm sure she'll give a bit more of an introduction. Uh, to herself. Thank you so much, Helen. Um, hello, everyone, and good afternoon. I'm Sherry Han. I'm Shari. I'm Amirati, and this is where I stood uh, many, many years ago uh, before I ended up uh, falling madly in love with the industry, started in culinary arts, and then moved all the way up to becoming uh, the general manager and the first female Emirati general manager for the UAE. So I'm very proud. <laughs> Thank you very much to Helen and, of course, uh, Michael Kitts for uh, making me fall in love with culinary and then hospitality. So uh, hello to everyone. And um, I am currently a full time MBA student. Uh, not much left uh, to finishing my MBA. So I'm really excited about that. What I will start to show you today is something uh, that I enjoyed at uh, the Icon. Uh, it's a student run um, a restaurant at the, the Emirates Academy of Hospitality Management. And I decided to do um, a dish for you. And it's a starter dish, uh, very popular. And I thought I'll start with something vegetarian and uh, popular. So it's called the King Oyster Mushroom with oars or pasta, soy jelly, and parsley mayonnaise. And with me, I'm very privileged to have Helen to help me as a commie. Well, I'm the commie today. <laughs> uh, so I will be running behind Shari. She'll just be passing me some uh, ingredients to finish off uh, while she gives you uh, more details about the main and core ingredients of this dish. Uh, Shari will be open for more questions later, especially in her career to date. And I believe a bit later on, she'll be welcomed with another special guest uh, for a big announcement uh, at the end of this uh, presentation, I guess. So Shari, would you like to start with what we're going to do today? Um, I would love to start to take you through the ingredients that we have for the dish today. Um, let's start first with um, the soy jelly ingredients. We've got soy sauce and then we've got um, a mushroom stock. So we've made the stock with... Um, uh, some dried shiitake and sets. And then also here we have uh, dried gelatin sheets and ice water. So what we'll do later is when we have all the ingredients, the two uh, liquid ingredients in a saucepan, uh, we'll drain the water off completely, uh, pop it into the saucepan. Uh, we'll first make sure that we bring, um, if you could show the sauce, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, bring it to... Um, a temperature of about 85 to 90 degrees and then we'll have um, the uh, gelatine in and then that would help it set what we will do once um, it's simmered and set we would have it on a tray blast chill it and then we'll uh, we'll cut it out into the shapes we like as it forms into a jelly and then we shall move to the next uh, ingredient shall i start this for you sherry yes please thank you for reminding me <laughs> It used to be the other way around uh, many years ago. I know. Can you imagine what's happened? <laughs> hmm? So a lot of things have changed after 2020. 
Okay, so now we've got the parsley mayonnaise. We've already uh, pre-done the mayonnaise. Um, you've got your egg yolk, and you've got um, a bit of Dijon mustard oil, and um, lemon juice, of course. So, but, and this would give you a, uh, a lemony flavor, which is quite nice. Um, to get the color, uh, we will uh, have to make a chlorophyll from parsley and spinach. What we would do is uh, get some um, salt and water, bring it to a boil, uh, blanch um, the, the leaves that we've got here, then uh, drain all the water out um, because you don't want any water to dilute the flavor. And then once you get that lovely green color, you uh, mix it all in and that would give us the parsley mayonnaise. And moving to the core ingredient. Am I on track? You're on track. I'm gonna do this for you now. <laughs> Thank you. So the core ingredient, which makes the dish, um, would be uh, the um, king oyster mushrooms. Um, as you can see, lovely meaty mushrooms, and um, uh, they're very, delicious um, and quite hearty for, for a starter meal as well. Um, a lot of people enjoy it, I enjoy it. So um, it's, it's, um, it's a great element to a dish. And we decided to use an orzo pasta. So it's a pasta that looks like um, rice grains, uh, quite popular in America, uh, not so much in Italy. <laughs> and uh, orzo means uh, barley in uh, Greek, Greece. There we go. And um, okay, so that's the the main element. So we need uh, parmesan cheese, uh, butter. We also have our mushroom stock. We've got some uh, parsley that we will use for garnish later. Ice water, lemon, sea salt gives it a lovely flavour um, at the end, and uh, we shall begin. So what we will do with the step mushrooms, um, we'll have a uh, cut in two ways, um, a dice that would go with the pasta, and then you've got, uh, we'll slice these and score them, and that would go as the main protein on the dish. Yeah, so- Do you wanna do that? Okay, I shall start with um, the dice. Dicing, oh, there we go. You, you've got them all ready for me for scoring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll start with um, dicing the mushroom. Now, Sherry, the viewers might be looking at your nails and wondering what's going on there. You're very right. Now, very good question. So we adhere to all kitchen standards and these are henna. So traditionally, we um, sometimes when we've got an occasion in the Emirates, we do have henna applied to our fingernails and hands. So this is a black henna. Thank you. We don't want anyone to think you're on nail varnish in our kitchen. Not at all. Not in this kitchen. <laughs> I, I'd be out of the kitchen. So what we would do is about a centimetre dice of the oyster mushrooms. I've not uh, done any dicing in this kitchen for too long. Making me nervous. No, oh, carry on, Charlie. Oh, oh, Helen. <laughs> there should be a song about you, Helen O'Hella. I think there should be, you're right. <laughs> so, Shari, obviously 2020 was a little bit of a nightmare for all of us. Yeah. We don't want to keep going on about 2020, yeah. but did you do any cooking during that year? Um, I've done some cooking with a few alumni uh, for the Emirates Academy. Uh, we've done some cultural cooking, uh, Emirati cultural cooking. Um, and um, I think uh, there were some episodes online as well. And... Um, yeah, to kind of keep everybody engaged. We were quite busy uh, at the academy, uh, academically, for me, uh, if it's only for the MBA students mainly. But uh, we've done that. So apart from that, um, I'm still quite actively involved uh, with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Um, so working very closely with um, uh, members of the Church of England and also the Research Center at the Vatican, the Pontifical Academy of Social Sciences. So one of the things wow. that uh, we are uh, we've discussed quite recently since last year was the importance of um, sustainability in tourism and also bringing SDGs as an element of education um, in um, in tertiary education, um, and that would be looking after the. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 
that will be looking after the um, sustainable development into um, the courses uh, the for schools and the curriculums. Yeah, that's fantastic because obviously 2020 uh, was a little bit of a challenge for sustainability when we were told to use lots more plastics. Yeah. There was a lot more food waste. Um, so to bring that in and make people more aware of it, because I think the UAE was very uh, focused and on track for their sustainability goals for 2030 uh, or 2020 yeah. and beyond, yes. especially with Expo 2020 coming this year. Uh, so I think it absolutely should be put in the core curriculum for yeah. sustainability, most definitely. Um, and I think it's also part of um, the new both Dubai and Abu Dhabi 2030 goals. Um, yes. and, I, and I think the academy has done so much in terms of uh, concerts, restaurant concerts. I think the students have come up with some fantastic uh, concepts that are um, sustainable and also in terms of food and ingredients wise. So scoring, what we will do is just score it completely on the inside oh there's the camera <laughs> hello <laughs> we've got a new member in the kitchen that's always good to see so we shall start the scoring <laughs> so sherry why are you talking about that i'm just yep. going to go and start frying your diced mushrooms yeah, uh, if you're also pasta uh fantastic so let's score this and what we will do um to actually fry these we will have um heat of the pan and then uh, fry them. Obviously you want the score side first down um, and then give it a lovely color and cook that off. You can always add a little bit of butter uh, and that would um, keep it moist. One. So what's keeping you busy these days, Helen? Actually, I've been very busy. Uh, obviously, we were teaching online last year from March, uh, which is always a challenge. It's a lot more to develop than it is in the classroom. Uh, thankfully, uh, in January, we came back face to face. So we have the full three FMB courses back. And now we're getting ready for next trimester. Oh, so wow. we've been very busy, busy with training as well. Uh, also a little bit of training for the Prime Minister's office as well, which went down very well, all to do with COVID rules. Uh, so there's lots of little bits been going on. Uh, but it's always good to be back in the academy when we're face to face with the students and really get to know them. It's so refreshing to see um, a lot of things pick up in the industry um, and that gives everyone um, hope. Definitely. And I think you probably know that uh, certainly the UAE or Dubai has yeah. really uh, probably been at the forefront of getting open yeah. and ready. And obviously with the vaccination drive, that's a big, been a big bonus for us. Um, and the moment we come off the red list in the UK, I know I have many friends and family are going to book and they're out here to support the economy here. That's fantastic. Well, it uh, looks like we're all here this summer because there's so much to do this year. Absolutely. And then soon after, it's uh, the Expo uh, Dubai Expo uh, welcoming the world. So we've done our scoring. So Sherry, I'm just uh, finishing off frying your diced mushrooms. I'll let those cool down for the orzo. Yeah, and that would go uh, when we start the orzo. Yeah. So if you give those mushrooms, I will start frying those. Fantastic. So then Which I side would you like me to fry them um, first? We will start with the um, scored side okay. first, please. Thank you very much. So I will start with the orzo. And I will need the mushroom stock. So here your orzo is cooked, I see. Um, yes, it's been uh, pre-cooked, um, six to eight minutes, al dente. So we're just going to finish it off. Um, and that's where we add uh, your last touches that would give it a creamy and a lovely delicious flavor. It's your Parmesan cheese as well as your butter. So just, did just mention a word there called al dente for those viewers that don't so know. So that has a little bit of uh, bite. But I think in the in the kitchen of uh, Jeremy Clarks and, and, and the boys, um, it's uh, in their kitchen, el dente is actually throwing a brick into something and that's that gives them the bite, <laughs> apparently in a man's world. <laughs> okay, so, um, so uh, also you probably noticed from your first year, we have changed from gas to induction. Yes, I'm not used to that. This is posh. <laughs> posh. Okay, do you think there's any other benefits to having the induction in the kitchen rather than gas? Um, in terms of safety, it's ideal, especially with the students cooking and and. <laughs> Some of them 
Um, I remember back in my time uh, when I was in this kitchen, we had flames uh, and it was great. Uh, and <laughs> yes, there you are. <laughs> um, but yes, it, it's always great to, to have the induction because uh, you, sometimes you forget where your hands are. You should always be here, but you know, you never know with certain students. Also, um, it probably goes back to what you were just talking about, sustainability. Uh, so obviously uh, it saves you energy. Um, and also saves when you're investing in kitchen yeah. on a uh, big extraction pans. Uh, so in the long run, it saves on your bills as well. Um, the problem is with, uh, or not a problem, but with induction, you do have to get used to induction. Yes. It'll be very fast. Or, and then before you know it, you've burnt everything, which some of our students and myself found out <laughs> when we first started using it. So my pan now, Shari, is nice and hot for you for your mushrooms. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to let it cool down. It's a little hot. We were just talking about the heat from induction. Uh, I'm going to add the oil to that and then the mushrooms. Do I need to do anything else with these mushrooms? Um, salt, pepper, of course, never forget your seasoning, salt, pepper. Uh, are we using sea salt? That would give it a lovely flavor. And also um, maybe a knob of butter if you need towards the end. Absolutely. Okay. So How important is seasoning in cooking? Very important because um, without seasoning, you forget uh, the reason why you started cooking because it then uh, gives it no flavor and no meaning. So you can have all the best ingredients in the world, but that little salt and pepper can transform your whole dish. And the word salt uh, in Arabic is very important, right? What does it mean? Really? Really? Is it not the season of life? Well, we, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, uh, you're, more, <laughs> you're more amorous than I am. <laughs> Yes, um, you know, when you are the seasonal life or the or men, uh, you bring flavor to, yeah. to life. And we use that uh, when we like someone as well, um, because they add lots of flavors into our life. So, oh, someone? Someone, yeah. Oh, that must be me then, Shari, right? Yeah. You are the men of everything, Helen. Okay. Especially the kitchen. All right. What, so. we, what we might just do there, Shari? Yes, I, know you got, I know the camera's in your face. We can get a little distracted. We're gonna yeah. keep that stock up first. Yeah. Some of that. That's it. Okay, and we will bring that to the board and reduce that slightly. Of course, yes. That is always a distraction. That's how we try not to have too many of them in the kitchen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So we reduce that a little bit and then we we <laughs> add it into uh, the pasta. So while we're waiting for that, how important is it, do you think, for Emirates to join the food and beverage or hospitality industry? Um, it's very important, not because that's where I first started, but then uh, that's where you learn um, everything about the service industry um, and the concept of service. So, um, we see a lot more Emiratis entering the field. What I've discovered actually uh, when I was <laughs> in charge of uh, developing an Emiratization uh, program, um, there were lots of students who were engineers who actually ended up working in the field. Uh, and uh, you see that, I think, moving forward, that would be a career path of choice. So we are having to stop come to a simmer and then would let it reduce a little bit uh, and that would um, amplify the flavor and make it a lot stronger. So um, do you think there's anything that you could do uh, with your passion for food and beverage to entice more people into obviously kitchen restaurant? We know there's a stigma attached to it in uh, the region for Emiratis. Yes. Uh, there, you're right, there are a few more joining. Uh, do you think there's anything that you could do to encourage more people because um, that it's a valid career? I've always been a big supporter of, um, I think, a lot of students and youth and especially Emiratis with interest of entering the field. And uh, I've also uh, supported quite closely with the Emirates Academy, um, uh, the national team uh, for the UAE who cooks uh, and competes at Emirates Skills and World Skills um, International as well. And that is our commitment to the industry and to also developing the national talent to enter the field. And when you start in um, the, the kitchens or throwing butter in there, 
also give it a nice place and um, will enhance the flavor. And you see a lot of Amaranthus actually interested in becoming restaurateurs. Somebody's gone live. I think it's from their side, Sharon. Yes. And separate if you request for a song. Like I write the song. So, your, your drunk, when there is an interest in like most of our restaurants and opening um, no, uh, one restaurants, one thousand, one thousand, uh, then this would be a career choice. This would yeah. be somewhere where they can learn how to uh, run a restaurant, understand how the kitchen runs, and how they have to work together. Because there's so much knowledge that needs to be gained before actually opening a restaurant or getting into um, the industry. So you're right. So there's lots of entrepreneurs, Emirati, that open up their own businesses. We yeah. have one of our own students, Emirati. He's just opened a food truck uh, last year. Oh, wow. Of all times in COVID, but he's uh, absolutely loving it. So the more Emiratis that join this industry, the better it will be for the future of the Emirates. Absolutely. Because um, it has shown to be the uh, field uh, with uh, the most opportunities uh, as a career and also employment. Uh, what we will need is also the truffle oil for later. Would you like to start your parsley? Yes. Great reminder. So good to have you on the team, Helen. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Sherry, I've just uh, finished off frying uh, your mushrooms. Um, they're seasoned and also I've uh, put some butter in there as well to get some extra flavour. Thank you. While you're sorting your parsley out, I'm just going to add the diced mushrooms that were fried into the mix. And we'll warm that gently while you're doing your parsley. So what are you going to do with the parsley? So what I will do with the parsley is um, get a ploosh of the parsley, put it in an ice cold water with some ice. Um, and that would be a lovely garnish um, on the dish. And what we will do later is um, actually add some oil, olive oil uh, or any oil into the water that would give it a really nice glaze. Okay, so a nice little tip there. There you go. Then I'm going to half a lemon for you. Maybe pass it over to the garnish tray. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is there seasoning in there, Helen? Not yet, that's for you. <laughs> but you do have to chop that still. <laughs> so what we'll do, we'll get some lovely flat the parsley and gently chop that. So, but you don't want to bruise it, so you'll be very gentle. I remember trying to make a sausage here uh, for one of the class a long time ago. A sausage? Yes. It was actual sausage? And that, yes, it was an actual sausage, but I wasn't too gentle. So uh, uh, Chef Kitts looked at me and said, well, not, sausage is not for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember that. That's all you want to. <laughs> uh, but since then, I've uh, tried to be a bit more delicate. Thank you. Okay. So before you came to us and you came into the kitchen, did you have any prior experience? Uh, not at all. I did not understand hospitality. I was actually studying aviation uh, to become an aeronautical mechanic. Uh, so nothing to do with hospitality. My mom always had a dream that one of her children would become hoteliers. Um, and so uh, my sister started and then I joined her. But uh, we grew up in, in a household that loves to cook um, and enjoy good food and good flavors. I think it comes with the background as well. Yeah. There we go. So shall I add your parmesan into this? Yes, please. Oh, now, I will leave you for a moment to try that for seasoning the salt of your life. Thank you. All right, so let's try that. 
Nice. I forgot what was my job. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need any pepper? Yes, please. that would be great. So we're going to use sea salt. And you need to be very careful when using sea salt because um, they're quite coarse and large. So you don't need too much of it. It becomes too salty. So anything else here, Sherry? Uh, you here. need your butter and a bit of truffle oil. So I added the butter earlier on. Do you need any more butter in there? Uh, it looks good. So we can add some truffle oil, about a teaspoon. Flavor. How does that smell? Oh, so good. Oh, so, so good. It was too good. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That aroma would just open your appetite. So good. Okay, almost so ready for plating. Yeah. A little squeeze of the lemon. Make some of that flavour. And just warm it. There we go. That's it. Have a seat in there. Okay. And your parsley. And then I think we're ready to plate, right? We are ready to plate. And now here we've got a very special guest to, to try our dish. We have. I'll uh, do that introduction shortly. Uh, here's something we prepared earlier. So if you remember at the very beginning, Sharon, yep. you gave me your uh, your soy uh, gel to make. So that's made, that's been chilled and cut. Obviously it was prepared much earlier. So that's ready to go for your garnish. You have your mushrooms that are ready as well, mm -hmm. plated. Yeah. Now you have your orzo pasta as well. And we blended uh, your parsley mayonnaise, so that's also ready to go. And you have your garnish down there. All right, so let's so, start plating. Let's go. So you do have, obviously, a very special guest that's going to test this dish for you today. So this week, we had uh, the pleasure of a new managing director joining the Emirates Academy of Hospitality Management. Uh, so uh, he's waiting for bated breath there in the distance. Okay, Jerome Grevin, okay, that's joined us. Uh, he's going to sample your food and also give an introduction to himself and uh, how excited he is to be here at the Academy. Well, welcome and, uh, and I'm glad I had the privilege to cook for you. Ah, I, I'm so proud to have a number like you as part of the Emirates Academy. It's so fantastic to meet you and see your passion for the industry. Thank but, uh, you so uh, much. <laughs> well, I'm so glad. Well, welcome to the team, the family. Yeah, thank you, thank you, yeah. It's, uh, and, to taste this, I'm not testing it, I'm just tasting it, but I'm sure it's actually going to be delicious. It looks and it smells really delicious from here. I love the little hint of truffle oil. I just mix it off their menu. Oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, that's good. These ones are beautiful. When, when, did, you, when did you make those? Um, yeah. We've made it earlier, actually. Yeah. Helen did. Helen did, okay. <laughs> My lovely assistant did. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, I'm working hard today. So. So, Jerome, is this the first time you've ever been to Dubai? This is the, uh, I've been to Dubai before on, uh, on, on, on travels, personal travels here and there from time to time, but this is the first time really uh, working here. So, I come from a background in, uh, in Switzerland. I've been with the Swiss Intelligence Management School, the Swiss Education Group, for uh, 12 years. And I uh, had the, uh, the privilege and the honor to join the Emirates Academy now, in, uh, well, starting a few days ago. So. Very happy to be here, very proud to be here, and very much looking forward to being part of the journey of the Amish Academy going forward. Good, very happy to have you here. That's excellent. We're really excited. It's, uh, well, <laughs> I mean, it, it, we have it in the Netherlands, we have a saying, we say we, we, you fall with your nose in the butter right? if, you have, if you get like a nice surprise. And, and look, look what is here, right in front, a beautiful dish to start off with. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll try to make it as pretty as I can for you. <laughs> No pressure at all. Okay, so your parsley mayonnaise there. So I'm just uh, shaking off the excess water, Sherry, from your parsley. And now we have that lovely glaze on that parsley, which you said about with your uh, putting the olive oil trick into your ice water. It gives it a nice glaze. Can you see that? Look at that. And what I'm doing, I'm just getting some dots of our um, parsley mayonnaise. This would give a beautiful flavor combination. Um, and the reason the jelly actually goes 
last um, is to melt on the on the pasta and that way you get all the flavors out fantastic so moment of truth sherry did you do what you said you would do at the beginning did i not i hope so so um this is our lovely dish king oyster mushroom oyster pasta soy jelly um, extra drizzle because it's just before ramadan and we want everything to be generous right yes we it's all about giving in ramadan <laughs> very true and it's next week and we look forward to uh this could be a new uh iftar dish that i could absolutely. make for the family absolutely first of all congratulations on the presentation here you know we, we eat through our through our eyes right and look, look what you have you know you made here it just looks absolutely astonishing well thank you yeah, excellent. Very nice. so um do we, we dig in or absolutely yes yeah. so who, well, who's the other who's tasting the other dish you are right so in the go We've got, the, we've got the team Sorry. here now. Yes. <laughs> Moment of truth for you, Sharon. There we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. I'm sure it smells yes. nice. So, unfortunately for you, Joanne, uh, you can uh, only look, but the smell is amazing in here right now. Yummy. Rub it, rub it in, <laughs> Helen. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting in a taxi straight from the studio, yeah? No problem. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, 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 carry on going. Well done. Yeah. very well then. Thank yeah. you so much. It, it was a pleasure <laughs> to cook for all of you and to be in this kitchen again. Thank you so much for a fantastic assistant. Also, the salt yeah. Thanks. I got and, a new and job. If I, may, <laughs> if I may, thank you, thank you, Academy. I mean, this was your final session. Thank you for your contribution over these four days. Um, very it's, it, it's a great partnership that we have and and also chef what an inspiration to emiratis thank you so much for coming in and representing uh, the nation in such a strong thank way you. mabrook you have okay, any thank questions you much, guys we're out of time i'm afraid um, no, 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 no. <laughs> lesson plan was done well way. So, um, so you've done well you've filled in, you've filled in all the time um, i'm on my way to get my takeaway plate no, Thank you. Thanks, Academy. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.